All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to Jerry's Lab for another, what's that? A command block creation? No way, it couldn't be. This one's Pokemon related. I feel like the whole Pokemon Minecraft crossover, it's always, it's always sort of popular. I guess that's why Pixelmon became such a big thing. Anyway, this one, it's pretty simple. It gives us Pokeballs and uh, another sort of Pokemon, Pokeball related trap thing. Well, you'll see it in just a moment. So, Pokeballs in Minecraft by the Red Engineer. I don't know why my whole font is so small, but whatever, not a big deal. Um, so, let's see, first and foremost, probably wanna make some Pokeballs, right? So let's do that using some redstone, buttons, and iron ingots. As usual, throw it on the ground, things happen. So here we go, and boom, we have a Pokeball. I actually have no idea how this works. There's no resource pack here. It's not, it's no fancy textures or anything that I've added in aftermarket. So, I actually don't know how the Pokeball works. I guess, I guess it's just using the, the texture of, of a player. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, it has to be that. So it's using a, a player skull. And anyway, it's kind of cool, actually. I was like, yeah, how are you doing this without a resource pack? So, nifty stuff. Anyway, let's make a few of them. Because it has, uh, I think it's like a 30% chance each time in order to capture the mob that we're gonna throw it at. So may as well make, I don't know, like four or five, something like that. Um, you need to make sure that you're actually like throwing down the resources uh, independently each time. Otherwise, like say you throw down a bunch of iron, a bunch of buttons, a bunch of redstone, it'll, it still only makes one Pokeball. So just be aware of that. Anyway, next up, we need something to throw it at. So why don't we start off with, the, with a pig? Because why not? So let's put down the pig. Hey, are you ready to be my first Pokemon? Minecraft Pokemon, dude, bro? Yeah, you are? Okay, so, just like you'd assume, you throw it down at the mob, and uh, it starts to catch it. We get the, the progress text bar up here. It counts down, and then, do we get it? Did we get it first try? Sweet! We got really lucky. Well, that doesn't always happen. Caught pig. It's like a combination between coughing and caught. I hope we didn't get it sick. Um, so <laughs> when you catch it, it gives you the, the spawn egg. So if you're in survival, right? Like you don't have the ability to get the spawn eggs to spawn the mob initially. So you walk up to a mob that you find in the wild, you throw the Pokeball down, and then if you do catch it, you get the spawn egg, which you can then use to uh, drop it somewhere else. So kind of nifty, right? And obviously the Pokeballs you can get using survival techniques because all it takes is iron button and, uh, and redstone. Anyway, let's try uh, another mob because probably won't get so lucky and then you can see the demo of what happens if you were not successful. So this is actually a useful application. Say you want to get some zombie pigmen into the overworld. You don't have to deal with pushing them through the portal. You take the Pokeball into the nether and um, a zombie pigmen doesn't work. Okay. Let's... Mulligan that one. Well, <coughs> sometimes in your scientific experimentations, things don't always go according to plan. You know, you gotta just account for that. Anyway, let's try it with a slime. All right, so we're gonna throw the Pokeball at slime and catching the mob. And we'll see if we get lucky twice in a row. If we do, I mean, are we really gonna get that lucky twice in a row? Nope. So that's what happens if you uh, are unsuccessful. So it consumes the Pokeball, as you probably imagine, because, you know, in Pokemon, if you use one, it doesn't work, it's gone. Um, and it goes back to being just the way it was. All right, let's try this again. You will be mine. I'm gonna be the favorite paste like no one ever was. Bum, 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 the cat slimes is my real test. To train them is my cause. Minecart mon. I don't know why I said minecart mon or mine Minecraft mon. That's I don't. That's terrible. Sorry. I'm I'm really bad at improving lyrics like that. So we got another uh, a cot slime. We got a cot pig. Let's just for the sake of completing the trifecta here. Let's let's catch a sheep as well, because because why not? Um, <laughs> see if we can do it in our our last remaining pokeballs. I think we should be able to. We've been having good luck, so it's bound to continue, right? The gambler's fallacy. Um, and... Dang it. Come on, man. Do it for the camera. Be Actually, this is an instance where I want it to be camera shy so it stays within the Pokeball. Um, come on, come on. You'll be mine. 
God dang it. Again? You're going to be uncooperative just at the last second? I'm going to need to make some more Pokeballs because I still have one more thing to show you. Maybe if I turn my back, we'll get it. I'm going to just barely peek. Oh my god, this dude is so uncooperative. You seriously need to get in the Pokeball. Now it's just like, it's a matter of pride. I said I've got to be the very best. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? Seriously, get in the, get in the ball. Stay there. Stay there. Please. There we go. God, that was a... So, as you can see, um, things don't always work the first time, but that's okay. You keep on trying hard enough and, and things pan out in the long run. So, again, you get the spawn egg and then you can use the spawn egg to um, produce uh, mobs with the same name. Cot sheep or cot slime or, or cot pig. Um, slight spelling adjustments possibly would be uh, a good, you could actually search for the, the spelling inside of the command and probably tweak it yourself if you wanted to, if it was that big of a deal to you. But anyway, like I said, there's more to it. So that was only the first part, the actual Pokeballs themselves, albeit the bigger of the two parts, but there's also this, uh, this trap thing. So if we throw a Pokeball, an iron block, and a block of redstone on the ground, I accidentally, am, I, I threw it at a mob and caught it, which is uh, not what I was trying to do. <laughs> Whoops. Um, don't mind me. Just uh, making some boo-boos here. You know, not a big deal. Here we go, and boom. All right. So if you throw iron, redstone, and a Pokeball on the ground, then it turns into this thing. It just, it looks like a, a bigger Pokeball. And what this actually is, is a trap. Essentially, I've just activated my trap card, which is the wrong card game, but you get the idea. So if we spawn a caught sheep next to it, whoop, it kind of gets like magnetized. So when it's within a two block radius of the thing, it gets like sucked into its, its gravitational pull. I don't think that this was actually a Pokemon item you could ever acquire, but it's just the second part of the, uh, the thing. So why don't we grab like a, I don't know, a zombie, for example, that something you actually might want to have fall into the trap to do that. And anything that is within the two block radius there is gonna get gravitated towards the thing. Anyway, when you destroy the thing, it, it drops iron and a Pokeball and it consumes the redstone. So, you know, it's not really a big deal to demonstrate, but that's how it works. So anyway, that's, um, that's the Pokemon Pokeball command thing in a nutshell. So, uh, yeah, if you are interested, check the command in the description. And um, other than that, make sure to like if you like. Check the playlist in the description for more uh, single command block creation things, Jerry's Lab, etc. And uh, subscribe for more. And that's all. I'll see you next time.